Hi, and welcome back to part two of my complete beginner guitar series. This series is for people who have never picked up the guitar until today, or this is your first week. So this is the absolute basics we're going over. If you haven't seen part one, please start there first. This goes very much in order, so you're really going to need to start with lesson one, and you can find that in the link in the description of this video. If you have already watched lesson one, then we're gonna continue off exactly where we ended at the end of lesson one. So if you haven't watched it yet, go check that out first before you come to this video, it's very important. So with that, moving forward today, I am assuming you've watched the first video in this series and you're back for the second video. Good job for continuing on, keep with it, and we're gonna get you playing some chords nice and quickly, I promise. So, yesterday we worked on the first chord, your E minor chord. Today we're gonna add in a new chord, which is probably gonna become your new favorite chord. It's the most popular and most loved chord for beginner guitarists, so that's what we're gonna learn today. And then we're gonna work on switching between the two. So let's get started and go back to our E minor chord and work on just getting the strumming hand a little smoother. So just like yesterday, let's start and grab the chord and then pick out your strings individually and try and get each string ringing out smoothly. So if you're getting any buzzing or muting, just readjust your fingers and then play it until when you individually pick them out, then you can get all the strings ringing. So once you're out there, you've got kind of your starting point, that's your good chord. So from here, what we're gonna try and do is just play a nice, even, steady strum with our right hand here. Think of it like you're painting with a paintbrush on your guitar. So you just want it like a nice, easy, gentle strokes, and just enough, all you're trying to do is get it enough so that your strings ring out nicely. You don't need a huge arm motion. You need to just start here, go to there, everything just nice and gentle, and don't be too concerned about it, but we're just going for evenness here, and it is still gonna be awkward today. So, from here, what we're gonna do is just try strumming down several times, and this time we're gonna count it along with our strums. So, counting and timing is an important part of music, and generally speaking, when we're playing guitar, we're gonna be counting in fours. So, what that means is you're gonna count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and so on. I'm not gonna get too much into the details more than that for now, but just remember, usually we're counting in fours, so when you're timing something out, you're usually gonna wanna do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's a great part of playing music is that you rarely need to count to more than four. Just pause this video and just try doing this or playing along with me. Just playing a nice steady rhythm, even medium volume, and get everything ringing out nicely. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There you go, that's all you're aiming for, is a nice steady beat. It's still probably gonna feel a little bit awkward with this right hand, but we'll work on that and get it up to speed in no time. And then from there, once you feel confident enough with that, we're gonna move on to our second chord of today's lesson, which is going to be your soon to be favorite chord, the G. It's a nice full happy chord with high notes, low notes. It's full, it's got a lot of body to it and it just sounds really nice and smooth when you play it in songs. This chord is most people's favorite chord for a good reason. It just sounds so nice and full and it's great to listen to and it really adds a great element to any song that it's in. Just like the E minor, this one's gonna have the same technique with all our fingers, fretted on the fingertip, nice and curled. The biggest thing with this one is you've got a bit bigger of a stretch to reach. So first, we're going to play with our third finger on the third fret, one, two, three, of the first string. And you can put that finger right there and try and get a nice clean note from that. If you can't get a clean note with one string, then you're not gonna be able to get a clean note with six, so start and just do this in order here. Then from there, we're going to take our second finger and reach it all the way to the third fret of the sixth string. 
So this is a bit of a stretch. It might be a little bit difficult for you. Uh, it'll only take a few days for your fingers to get a little bit more flexibility and be able to do this smoother, but try and reach across from those frets. So from there, that's all we're gonna do with our fingers here. Now the one thing different about this chord from the E minor is that this fifth string, we don't need it to ring out. This mute is completely fine here. So don't worry about that. Besides that, otherwise we want all the other strings to ring out nicely. So try and see if you can get that going. Put your fingers in their place and then individually pick out the strings and all of them except this fifth string you want to ring out nicely. And once you can get that, try strumming it a few times. And you can see this really nice, beautiful chord. Now just a quick note, there are multiple ways to play most chords. This is just one way to play a G chord. I like to start with this one because it's the easiest for beginners to get used to. But if you do find in other lessons they have a different version of this chord, both are still valid and you can use this one even if someone's using a different version of the G chord. Uh, I just find this one easiest for beginners. So that's why we're going with this today. Just try playing it again just like the E minor with a nice, steady, even strumming. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So moving on, now we're going to go to the hardest challenge of today's lesson, and that is going to be switching between these two chords. Just a fair warning for you in advance, switching between chords is tricky and it's not gonna be super quick for you today. So that's why we've got this multi-part video series because it does take a few days to actually get the hang of this. So just be patient and expect that it will come with time. You just need to practice it a bit. So what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna play our E minor chord four times and then we're gonna switch to our G chord and play that four times. Don't worry too much about the timing right here. Just try and work on the switch. Now switching between chords is tricky, and it's especially gonna be tricky because this is your first or second day playing guitar. So don't expect it to be super quick. It is slow at the beginning. You just have to practice it for a few days and it'll get dramatically quicker. But all we're gonna do is this. So that's all you're gonna try for this exercise. There's a good chance you're not gonna be able to do that that fast. Don't worry, speed's not important right now again. We're just trying to get nice, clear notes. So play the E minor chord four times and then switch to your G chord, play that four times, and then just keep switching back and forth. And that's all you need to work on today. Play that for a bunch and then that's gonna be our challenge for the day. It's gonna be hard to remember the different shapes and get your fingers to work nicely. Remember if your chords are ringing out, something's not quite ringing out right in either of the chords, just pause, readjust, and then play the strings out individually so that you can see where your chords aren't quite ringing nicely, and then go back to the exercise. And with that, that's where I'm gonna leave you at the end of this lesson. I'm sure it's still gonna be a little bit awkward and it's gonna be slow to switch between these chords. Don't worry, we're gonna work on that in the next videos in this series and get everything smooth and easy. So just give it a little bit of time and come back for the next lesson. So your next steps are first, go to the link in the description of this video and check out my 14 day chord challenge, which is gonna be where you're gonna go after this beginner series. And that's gonna make your chords and strumming just nice and smooth and clean. And then also in the link in the description below this video, is go to video three in this series. In tomorrow's video, or if you're ready for it now, the next video, I'm going to teach you a third chord, and then we're gonna smooth out our changes between them. And if you unlock this third chord, then it's actually gonna give you all the chords you need to play hundreds of different songs. There are literally hundreds of songs, and I'm gonna show you in the next video, that you can play with just three chords. So even though it's challenging right now, 
You just have to practice these three chords a little bit and get your strumming a little bit smoother, and then you'll be able to play a ton of different songs right away, and I'm going to show you that it really doesn't take that much to get to that point. So that's what you've got to look forward to in the next video. You can either do it right now if you're ready and eager and your fingers are still doing okay, or take a break and come back later today or tomorrow and watch that video again in the link in the description below. And also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. All right, I'll see you in the next one.